Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Great late night rally. We knocked out the filler. We knocked out the random number block randomizer, which ultimately knocks out Pick Your Team 7 Museum Collection Baseball. Half case from a fresh case. Big thanks everybody here for getting in on it. Thanks for spending a bit of your Sunday with me. So here was the, uh, the list right there. I forgot to print out the number block list. Let me print that out really quick. There it is. So we, we pulled about 21 teams out for the random number block. So RNB might get a lot of spilled some water on this paper here. I think the RNB might get a lot of hits right there because they've got a majority of the spots, so these numbers could prove to be pretty important. And that randomizer we did in a separate video. Congrats again to the people who won their spots in that pristine 14 pack, and thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, as always. All right, let's get to it. Let's pop this case open. And let's see which side we're going to do. All right, so there's six boxes on the left side and six boxes on the right side. And as always, we're going to take the die, we're going to roll it. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. This side we will do uh, next time, hopefully tomorrow. This will be, so this will be break number eight. We'll mark those eight so you know they're from the same case. And I think we should probably be able to get that knocked out by tomorrow, which would be pretty nice. All right. Well, we're looking for four hits per master box. Got Vlad Jr. on the front. Pretty nice stuff. Uh, so break eight, obviously, the second half. And then um, we, should have, we should have one more case after that. Actually, I have all the supplies I need here. I think, I think I should. Museum collection has the potential for really nice stuff. Sketch cards, one of one sketch cards, uh, gold frames or black frames that are low numbered, maybe even wood frames this year. I don't know if that's a possibility, but, but a lot of cool stuff potential in here. And that last card should be the hit. Anyone in this break watching live? I know Joe Christian was around. I think he's, oh, there's the frame right there. Anyone else? Everyone else might be asleep. Although CJ Monroe bought spots late, so he's probably listening in the background somewhere. Book possibilities. It's Cal Ripken Jr., 45 out of 99. That'll be for Aaron and the Orioles. There it is. There's Joe. Okay, just making sure. Sean's in the random number block, but there's like 21 teams in there. So that could be, that could be a, that number block could be a big winner today. There's Cedric Mullins, 6 out of 50. 
for uh, the Orioles. Another one for Aaron. Behind rookie Alec Thomas is Andrew Vaughn. There you go, Joe. Triple relic and autograph. Old Vonnie. Do they call him Vonnie? I don't know if they call him Vonnie. So. There you go, Joe. Thanks for staying up late with me. That's uh, one out of 25. Nice little number on that, too. All right. oh, let's do the other one first before the frame. A quad relic, a quartet of Phillies. Bryce Harper, Reese Hoskins, Alec Bohm, and JT Real Muto. 36 out of 99. Phillies are a number block team. So it goes, we go by that digit right there. So it's 36 out of 99. And that's CJ with number six. The frame behind Jacob DeGrom is Edgar Martinez. Eight out of 10. Nice frame. I kind of like the, the, the brick sort of look they have in the background there. I think, I don't, re, I don't remember seeing that in recent years. Mariners, Mariners are a number block team. There's going to be a lot of that. Mariners, eight. That'll be for Sean Healy. There you go, Sean. All right. Next box. Yeah, Joe's pointing out. been a minute or two, maybe, since we've seen a Seattle hit. I'm still marveling at that uh, at the Pittsburgh Cincinnati game. The, the long snapper getting injured. They had to have a backup, and long snapping is a highly prized skill. Like that's not an easy thing. A lot of high snaps, a lot of just throws every just throws the whole kicking unit off. I mean, oh, that's tough. You're a good long snapper. I feel like you can have a very long career in the NFL. Just a lo long, a low key, just a low key, uh, long career in the NFL. And then for a second, I thought that that game was going to end in a tie after the Steelers missed a field goal. Oh, look at this. Julio Rodriguez, rookie card, and number to 50. That's 28 out of 50. So the Mariners were already number block team. There it is, 28 right there. So that'll go to Sean Healy. And of course, the non-numbered base cards here for that huge group of teams will randomize to one person in that random number block. Winner take all on those non-numbered cards. There's Jordan Alvarez, dual relic and autograph. The Astros are a number block team. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. That's 48 out of 50. Look at that. Sean Healy, another number eight. And there's a quad relic, Jacob DeGrom, 53 out of 75. Huh. I don't think I realized that either. I thought that was more of a holder's job to get the laces correct, as the, as the cinema has told us. But... Apparently, that they that the long snappers spin the ball the exact same way every time, so it lands in the holder's hands. 
When you see the holder spin it, the snapper didn't do their job. Wow. Uh, Mets are a number block team. So that goes to Mets three, which will be for CJ. I don't think I really realized that. A couple base cards here. Relic, Blake Snell to 50. That goes to the Padres. Oh, Padres are a number block team, so that goes to San Diego 2. 32 out of 50. That jersey goes to, goes to Matt. Purchased the last full spot. The other spots were giveaway spots. Juan Soto, 45 out of 125. Still Nationals edition there. That's part of the random number block group. Wrinkles out of the penny sleeve, so that goes to five. Washington five, CJ. Next box. Yeah, that's crazy to think about. Pat McAfee, when you see a holder spin it, that means a snapper didn't do their job. So out of the long snapper's hands, it just rotates perfectly enough where it just ends up in, so all the snapper, or all the holder has to do then right is just you're just catching it and you're putting it down that's it snap put the ball down put the, the fingertip on it and that's it <laughs> now I'm gonna look for now I'm gonna look for that every time <laughs> So thanks for ruining my life, Joe and Pat McAfee. Because now, especially especially after touchdowns, especially after touchdowns, when I'll, I'll usually like walk away, I'm gonna it's like oh let me go grab a snack, let me go grab a beverage, let me go to the restroom, or something like that. I'm gonna stay for that extra like three minutes or whatever before they go to commercial, just to watch that revolution. And then Joe, you know what else is gonna happen? Here's the other thing that's going to happen. I'm going to think it's so cool that, I, that I'm going to uh, tell my friends about it every time that happens. If I'm lucky, it'll be me attempting to impress a lady friend while we're watching the NFL. And I'll be like, hey, did you know that uh, when, the, when the holder has to spin the ball, that means a long snapper didn't do their job? Because uh, the long snapper usually gets it to him one revolution. Well, I mean, if she's impressed by that, Joe, then then uh, then that would definitely be. I definitely have to propose to her right then and there. Or people just roll their eyes and be like, "It's a freaking long snapper. Who cares?" And be like, "I care. Joe Christian cares." Pat McAfee cares. Holders care. Kickers care. Luis Severino, 233 out of 299. Yankees are a number block team. Yankees, three. Dual relic and auto. It'll be for CJ. I got Francisco Lindor, 54 out of 75. Quad relic. A couple pieces of his lumber in there as well. That goes to Mets number four. And that'll be for Dale. And we got another relic here. That's Mets Tom Glavin. So that goes to Mets two. That goes to Matt. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool info. And behind the sketch reproduction of Donnie Baseball is mm, a Lars Newt Bar. 271 out of 299. All I had today was, was a Newt Bar. Matthew Wood got the Cardinal straight up. He's got to get into the nutrition bar industry. I, I really hope he does. 
after his after he plays for 20 seasons. All right, Matthew plays for 20 seasons and wins multiple awards, perennial all-star. Price of that autograph going up and up. After all that, then yes, I would want to see him in the uh, nutrition bar industry. How would the commercial go? Hi, I'm Lars Newtbar, Hall of Famer for the St. Louis Cardinals. You know, in my playing days, I had a lot of weird, I had a lot of weird foods that, that I had to eat. And I thought, with all those lame, sugary, <laughs> well, that's the commercial. That's how you pitch the Newt Bar, Joe. <laughs> Hall of Famer, yeah. Hi, I'm a Hall of Famer, Lars Newt Bar, of your St. Louis Cardinals. My playing days, we had to eat a lot of weird nutritional stuff, and I just thought, there's got to be an easy way to just get all of my nutrition in one action-packed bar that I can just eat on the go in between innings. And that's why I developed the Newt Bar. So take it from me, Hall of Famer Lars Newtbar, and try a Newt Bar today. Only made with the with the freshest ingredients, no no preservatives. That's what you want to see, Hall Hall of Famer Lars. He's pretty good. Is he Hall of Fame good? I don't know. Right, yes, yes. There would be an animation of a candy bar, well, the Newt bar, which is a nutritional bar, uh, hitting a home run, absolutely. Now, would it be him holding a bar and hitting the home run, or would it be a bar with arms, little stick arms, that's like hitting a home run? What are we thinking here? Listen, this is, this is our last late night break of the night, ladies and gentlemen. So some people are watching this video in the morning and being like, what the hell are these guys talking about? All right, there's George Kirby. It's late. We're just, it's late. This is, this is the late night, weird weird late night columns we have. There's Strasburg, a lot of nice colors in there. Quad Relic, and that goes to Washington Zero. 10 out of 25, that's going to be for Brian Crouch. We got an Eloy Jimenez autograph. There you go, Joe Christian. Two-color, dual relic, and autograph, Eloy Jimenez. See you, Teddy. Wednesday? Nice. See you later, alligator. 80, 181 out of 199. The bar with stick arms. Okay, good. Maybe some googly eyes or something like that. I'll take it. There's a dual relic, Byron Buxton, Jorge Polanco. That is 25 out of 25. Twins 5 is going to be for CJ. And behind Joe Ryan is Luis Castillo, 234 out of 299. This is still Reds edition. And the Reds are part of that number block group. It goes to Cincinnati 4. We're on Cincinnati. Dale, we're on Cincinnati. All right, two boxes to go. What is Lars Newtbar's path to the Hall of Fame? No, the frame was, a, was an Edgar Martinez autograph, 8 out of 10. So Lars Newtbar, just in two short seasons, it's a dimly lit path to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. I guess his 162 game average, it's only a, only a 226 average, 18 homers a year, 56 RBIs. I don't think he's really much for power. Like, hmm. 
I don't know. I don't know what his uh, what his minor league stats are here. Baseball reference, tell me. I guess in the minors, at some point in the minors, it's kind of a 300-ish, 250, 70-ish hitter. Path could be if he uh, if he hit, gets like a hits milestone, I think. If he played for like 20 plus seasons and got like 3,000 hits or something like that. That usually gets you in on it. On a later ballot, not in, not in Joe's Hall of Fame, but in the current setup. All right, we got the captain, Derek Jeter, 126 out of 150. I gotta finish the, that, that series. It's actually a little more interesting than I thought it would be. Uh, Yankees, six right there is going to be for CJ. <laughs> Pity votes. Well, you know what? Uh, nice Wander Franco. Rays. Brad picked up the Rays straight up. Uh, you know, in retirement, Joe, if uh, his, if that newt bar really takes off, he may get, you know, the Baseball Hall of Fame is often about champagne campaign. It's a popularity contest as much as it about your your <laughs> your results. There's Cool Whit Merrifield, dual relic and autograph. So maybe the success of the Newt Bar may get him some votes. Gets him friendly with some of the writers. It's Ten out of three ninety nine. Uh, Royals. Kansas City zero. That is for Brian Crouch. There's Paul Molitor. 20 out of 25. He'll bribe them with cases of new bars. I wonder. That's. I feel like that's that's a scandal that has to happen someday, right? Like, uh, right, like Wonka bars. He'll like he'll bribe them. There's Paul Molitor. Uh, Brewers. Milwaukee zero. That nice quad relic gonna go to Brian Crouch. Like, what if post-playing career, he, like, ropes in some baseball writers to, to, uh, to have equity in his new bar business, and that takes off? I mean, is there, like, a wink-wink, nudge-nudge? You're going to vote for me in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. 11 out of 35, Jared Walsh. That'll be for the Halos. Oh, Angels won. That's going to be C.J. Monroe. And there's Ivan Castillo, archival autographs, 103 out of 299. Padre. Ivan Castillo. I do, do I not? Oh, that's because... He's, uh, this is his, last year was the first year in the league. So that goes to Padres three. That'll be for CJ. All right, final box coming up. There's Matt. Matt has the Cardinals. Matt, we were talking about old Lars Newt bar. How we wish that he has a Newt bar, a nutritional bar. Newt, Newt, like the, we put the Newt in nutrition. How about that? That's a good question. I don't know. How many first ballot Hall of Famers are on my daughters? I have no idea. I'm trying to think of Dodgers Hall of Famers in general. Uh, Jackie Robinson must be. Kershaw's got to be a first balloter, right? Um, I 
fig newts, those aren't nutritious. That, that would not hold up to, to newts nutritional vibes. Come on, Rex, he's a, he's a ball player. But Matt saying, uh, listen, Newt Bar had a pretty, pretty horrible first half of the play. Great outfielder, though. Yeah, there could be a path to playoffs, or maybe a path to Hall of Fame, or maybe a Hall of Very Good. I feel like he's come up clutch at certain points, too. Is that an extra hit? I think we got an extra hit in there. We put the newt in nutrition. <laughs> There's uh, Aaron Judge, Yankee Zero. That's going to go to... Uh, go to Brian Crouch. We'll, our shipping team will get that sorted out for you. Mariners, this this Julio Rodriguez uh, rookie card is going to be part of that non-numbered group. <laughs> yeah, Bartolo is a ball player too, but maybe he should have been eating more nutritious newt bars. You like the ad script, Matt? <laughs> Thanks. Hi, I'm a Hall of Famer. Lars Newtbar for your St. Louis Cardinals. Newt bars. We put the newt in nutrition. I guess we'll kind of put all this over here. All right. Uh, our final hits behind Kershaw. We're just talking about him. Tim Salmon, part of the All Fish team. 108 out of 299. Trout and Salmon in the outfield. That's a pretty good defensive outfield, too. They could hit a little bit. Uh, Angels 8. That is going to be for Sean Healy. The extra hit behind Kershaw is a quad relic Hunter Dozier. 20 out of 99. The Hunter. He's a Dozier Hunter. Royals, that is going to be for Royals Zero. That's Brian Crouch. Miggy. And a big jumbo patch and autograph, Miguel Andujar, 11 out of 15. That goes to Yankees 1. CJ with the Yankees 1. We got a Yankees relic, Rocket Roger Clemens, 18 out of 25. That's a, another eight for Sean Healy. Bought that spot straight up. And last but not least, after, after the chip off the old block, Chipper Jones, it is Gary Sheffield, four out of 25. Maybe that candy bar in the Newt Bar commercial maybe waggle the bat like Gary Sheffield. That'd be kind of cool. Little nod to Gary Sheffield. Uh, a known gym rat, maybe? Uh, that goes to Yankees 4. Dale with Yankees 4. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's randomize those uh, non-numbered cards. Let's flip back to this list right here. So that's going to be a pretty nice lot of uh, extra cards. The non-numbered base cards for all those R and B teams right there are going to go to the name on top after three and a four seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and good luck. Seventh and final time. It's going to go to CJ. He definitely had the odds on his side on that one. There you go, Siege. Thanks very much for helping out on that late night rally. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody getting into the action. Second half is in the store. No filler yet. We're still still got a lot of teams left there, but it'd be a big help if you're able to put uh, 
uh, put some work in on some of those teams. That'll make any filler that we do maybe a little less expensive, and that helps everybody. We may have one more case after that as well, so keep working on it. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Have a great night. Bye-bye.